hello my dear students welcome to the new chapter that is antihistaminic and uh, today we'll be seeing in detail about uh, different kinds of uh, antihistaminic drug so in part one uh, i'll be discussing with you about histamine how histamine is released and to which receptor it binds so first question which would arise in your mind or which uh, should arise in your mind is that actually uh, what is histamine so you should pronounce it like that hist and amine so it is a fusion of two words first is a hist and second is amine so hist means tissue it is normally observed into the plant tissue and animal tissue okay histamine is not only observed into the human being it is also observed into the plants the uh, plant tissue i can say that okay it is common to the animal tissue and human tissue or animal tissue that's why uh, the word uh, uh, which is utilized for its construction is a hist and second is amine so you can see that it contains the amino functional group and hence the name is given histamine now we'll in brief we'll discuss the chemistry of histamine what is a chemical it is so you can see that it contains the uh, imidazole ring this is imidazole ring which you can see over here and uh, this imidazole ring it is attached with ethylene amine side chain okay uh, so this is in base, uh, brief about chemistry of histamine so i can say that it contains two part one is a imidazole ring and second is a ethylene diamine okay now question arises that from which cell uh, it is the release in our body <laughs> so specifically it release from two kinds of cell the first is a first is a mast cell and the second is a parietal cell okay now this may be another question where actually mast cell is located and where the parietal cell is located in our body okay so mast cell it is located under the skin okay and it is also located in respiratory tract i'll show you the demo do you want to check that uh, location of your uh, existence of mast cell in your body so you just uh, scratch uh, to your body okay when you will scratch it means you are providing a physical stimulus okay so what happened that when you will scratch the skin immediately the mast cell which is located under the skin it gets activated and it releases the histamine okay and his, this histamine uh, then it causes the vasodilation or uh, and uh, inflammation or i can say that inflammation followed by vasodilation or both are simultaneously it may happen over there inflammation and vasodilation and because of that one the blood flow at that particular side get increased and hence you'll find a reddishness over there okay so do you want to check that just scratch your skin and you'll find that reddishness or redness on the skin so it indicate that you have provided a physical stimulus to a physical stimulus to the uh, uh, mast cell which is located under your skin and uh, that immediately releases histamine and histamine induces instantly inflammation and uh, vasodilation and that's why you'll find ready uh, reddishness of the skin you can practice it okay you can try it okay but it depends on the uh, color of your skin okay if you are fair you can easily uh, find out this impact but your skin is a little bit dark okay you cannot find the reddishness you have to you have to apply more pressure or more physical stimulus <laughs> if your skin is a little bit dark but this effect could be easily seen into the girls because they are quite fair because they are quite fair as compared to the uh, male okay so i hope i hope that you would have uh, practiced this isn't it okay and i hope that there will be really uh, uh, there will be release of histamine in your skin okay now second mass mass cell they are also located into the respiratory tract okay now do you want to check that location of mass cell in your respiratory tract so what you do uh, if uh, you would have experienced that when some dust particle enters inside the nose okay immediately a uh, sneezing and coughing starts okay what sneezing coughing indicates that your mast cell which is located into the which is located into the uh, respiratory tract okay it gets activated okay so whenever something goes th through the mass uh, through the nose into the respiratory tract immediately mast cell releases histamine and histamine induces the sneezing and coughing okay 
so in this way uh, here i have uh, explain you that location of mast cell so i'll repeat it again it is located in the skin and it is also located into the respiratory tract now secondly where it is located okay uh, so, uh, secondly from which a cell it is released so second is the parietal cell okay and parietal cell they are located into the stomach okay uh now when you uh, uh, which thing stimulate parietal cell to release the stomach okay in stomach so when you you consume the food okay and that food okay that food stimulates parietal cell and in response to the food in other language i can say that parietal cell releases the histamine and histamine is further responsible for the uh, it helps in the uh, synthesis of hcl and that hcl digests your food in this way these are the two cells from where uh, histamine is released okay i hope that you have understood and i would like to repeat over here that here hear that for the release of histamine from respiratory tract antigen antibody reaction is responsible what are the dust particle which is coming to your nose they behave as or they'll be treated as antigen and is in response to that uh, dust particle your body uh, starts antigen antibody type the reactions and uh, 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 that reactions are responsible for the release of histamine from mast cell so i hope that you understood uh from where uh, histamine is released so it is abundant uh, it is prominently uh, released from two cell first is a mast cell and second is a parietal cell and for release of uh, histamine from skin physical stimulus is responsible for release of histamine from respiratory tract antigen antibody reaction is responsible and for the release of histamine from parietal cell okay food is responsible now here i'll demonstrate you that how histamine is released uh from respiratory tract or uh, by antigen antibody interactions so i hope that you can see this diagram so here i am explaining you that how histamine is released from the mast cell which is located in the respiratory tract so consider that allergen okay this allergen allergen enters into the nose and for the first time it is coming inside your respiratory tract so what happened that here it is not shown into that diagram but antigen presenting cell is there and that antigen presenting cell it process the allergen okay and if antigen presenting cell feels that this is a really harmful things which is coming inside the respiratory tract then antigen presenting cell a uh, put forward that antigen to the t cell so as soon as the allergen bind with the t cell the t cell releases a cytokine okay and this cytokine it further uh, activates the beta cell okay and activation of beta cell uh, 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 activation of beta cell uh, uh, result into the uh, production of antibodies and this antibodies are later attached with mast cell okay and this is a mast cell which is located into the respiratory tract whole respiratory whole respiratory tract is apparently uh, uh, enriched with uh, enriched in mast cell so this antibodies whatever it is form it binds the uh, mast cell so this is a story uh, till that of the first time when antigen enters in your body in this way this attack is memorized for the first time okay now what happens for the second time when the same allergen enters second time in your nose so the whole process will not repeat it again directly that allergen okay it binds with antibodies and these antibodies are already ready on mast cell and binding up this uh, allergen to the antibodies result in the bursting of mast cell and mast cell emit release histamine and this histamine it binds with h1 receptor okay and h1 receptor binding of histamine to h1 receptor it causes a three to four effect the first uh, effect is that it it causes a vaso dilation immediately you can see that uh, your nose turns into the uh, your nose becomes red why there is a redness of your nose because uh, vaso dilation has been started over there okay 
second thing you also started sneezing and coughing why there is a sneezing and coughing because histamine induce, uh, histamine expects that or muscle expects that whatever the allergen enters in your nose it should immediately uh, expel out okay so actually this is a beneficial effect okay release of histamine is beneficial effect okay but why there is a need of inhibiting histamine at h1 receptor this may be the question isn't it okay so there uh, there are the several people which in which mast cell is getting hypersensitive and hypersensitive of mast cell causes okay even okay hypersensitive mast cell causes multiple time release of histamine okay multiple time release uh, multiple time release of histamine is very harmful to such kind of people and hence they are suffering from multiple times sneezing and coughing and that turns into the allergic response i hope that yeah i hope that you have understood it uh now talking about the receptor okay so i i told you that this uh, uh i told you that whatever the histamine which is released from mast cell okay or which is released from the skin it binds with h1 receptor uh, in second chapter we will discuss about h2 and h3 currently we will be discussing only h1 and i to already told you that binding of histamine to h1 it induces allergic reaction inflammation it also causes a smooth muscle contraction okay it also causes the bronchial muscle contraction because agar aapka gale ke muscle ko contract kar diya jayega to allergen will not enter inside the uh, it will not move towards the lungs okay that's why as a precaution aapke bronchi ka bhi contraction kar diya jata hai it also induces blood vessel uh, sorry uh, uh, contraction is written but it is dilation it causes blood vessel dilation okay why blood vessel dilation is there because uh, 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 if there is a blood vessel dilation the more amount of blood will flow to that particular site and whatever the allergen it has entered in the body okay and that allergen will be killed by your phago uh, cell based immunity or i can say that phagocytosis so i hope that you have understood uh, what is histamine and uh, uh, what is histamine and from which cell it is released and what are the stimulus which is responsible for the release of histamine how okay so from skin uh, physical stimulus is responsible from respiratory tract antigen antibody reactions are responsible okay and for the release of uh, histamine from parietal cell food is responsible okay and so far we also discussed about the h1 receptor and as a drug okay you need to as a medicinal chemist okay you need to block this h1 receptor if you are blocking this h1 receptor so what will you get you'll get anti allergic effect okay so in next section session uh, we'll say in detail about h1 receptor blocker thank you for listening me